What's up guys, it is Sam here, and I just pulled up to the gym, and uh, it got me thinking about the little bit of tidbit, of, the tidbit of information I learned earlier uh, about Tesla from a Sandy Monroe interview, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. So if this is your first time here, what's good, my name is Sam, and for those of you who are returning, it's good to freaking see you. Let's get into it. Sandy Monroe like takes takes vehicles apart and outlines exactly like how they're manufactured and built, and then he basically creates like a schematic I think and the assembly process and cost estimates associated with this and then that he'll sell to industry parties who might be interested in that information right so this is what he does uh, for a living so if you have done anything for any period of time uh, the same thing and you try to excel at it and do very good um, you inevitably learn things and know uh, little just nuances at 10 years in then you, way more than you did at time equal to zero so when you're doing something for a number of decades with these type of vehicles and you come across something uh, as Sandy Moreau puts it that is so different um, than anybody else uh, and I don't know if he uses that exact language but it is so different so the manifest Manufacturing um, process uh, has been relatively like it's it's always improving and evolving over time. But we're about to go to a I believe a new step in the manufacturing, which is going to accelerate a lot of different things. It's going to be um, not only is is the car like a smartphone versus a flip phone. You're like people used to say like Hey, I have a flip phone. It texts messages. I it's fine for me. Right? I don't need a smartphone. I don't need to spend that much money. And then you get a smartphone and you're like, holy shit, this is a fucking so much better than a flip phone. That's what it's like getting into a Tesla. And one of the ways that they're able to, that's just the design of the car. But one of the ways that they're actually innovating that nobody's talking about uh, in the mainstream media is their innovation along the manufacturing front. So I'm going to tie together a couple different things here. So we've got Tesla that puts out this, um, and this is the first piece of the thing that we're going to put together, is the t the wire harness. So they, they created this, um, there's an absurd amount of wiring that's required in cars, and it's, it's every single part was all like separate, like none of them talking to each other or working together in any capacity. So Tesla puts out this uh, um, patent on like a wire harness, and basically the... Um, uh, amount of wiring used in say like a model s drop down by like 50 percent to like the model 3 then from the model 3 down to um the model y is supposed to drop down by even more like another 50 percent or 80 percent or some ridiculous number i think it's coming from maybe like i don't know 300 kilometers down to like three kilometers or three meters or something or 30 meters it's a i don't have the data but it's something like ridiculous like that you can google it so that's the first piece of it right but then you're like how did they do that and they talk about why they did the manufacturing harness the way they did so that a, a robot could do the wiring harness instead of a human being because if you have something like this it's malleable and you have to put it in a certain slot right think of it, this as a wire it's difficult for a robot to grasp that and then put it into the area it needs to go for a manufacturing process. So they've changed the manufacturing process so that a robot can do it, right? So you have this cost reduction because there's not a high variable cost. It's a fixed cost of the robot. So you've shifted that, meaning if you can increase the speed at which you produce things, the cost is going to be able to drop because you have a fixed cost now that's spread over more units. And the other piece to this is thinking about it um, from the Sandy Monroe interview. Sandy Monroe mentions, I think a couple times, where tear down on the model three there's bluetooth antennas or something where you can receive and send signal on different parts of the vehicle so that got me thinking what is going on here well if you have say controllers in the door for the windows controller in the back for the trunk a controller in the front a controller glove box controllers the seats you can have these Bluetooth antennas 
all over the vehicle. Now think about this from a standpoint, from, from one side on a cost side. How much does a Bluetooth antenna cost? Because there's billions of them walking around. So the, the standardization and the cost of Bluetooth is very low. We're at 5.0, so the reliability is very high. Uh, in terms of different generations of it, and there's been iterations along the way. Um, but putting Bluetooth on different portions of the car, not only is that very low cost, however, you don't have to have wiring in the car to these things anymore, right? They just have to have power. So you just take the battery pack, and that comes up to it, but you don't need to have wiring running from this back over to something else. So it completely, completely changes the way things have been done. Um, and if you don't have any wiring, that does a couple different things. From a cost standpoint, you don't have to buy the wiring. Uh, as we talked about the variable cost of an individual, you don't have to have that individual like taking the wire to actually harness it because now a robot can do it so the as the redesign they made the cables um it's substantially less in terms of the amount of um wiring that is needed uh but there's still some wiring is needed so how did you get around that so that a robot could do that well they made the the cabling much more firm and harder so that a, a robot can grab it and then um put it where it needs to go that's what she said. And um, you have the cost of the robot portion of it, right? You have the lack of wiring. So that means that that's a material cost, right? And then the Bluetooth, you have to add back on there. But the, the, the net effect is going to be really, really impactful for margin standpoint. And... Um, I think I, Sandy and Monroe, I believe it mentioned something about he didn't understand why they were like that or something. And so maybe they weren't at that point with the Model 3, so they just started putting them in the vehicles where they're going to be there for the Model Y or it's happening very soon. So um, I could see this being very accretive to the earnings over the next couple years. As this plays out, the legacy automakers um, are doing a Kodak. When I'm from Rochester, New York, and Kodak basically, I think, invented the digital camera, and then they just didn't do anything with it. And they're like, no, we're sticking to our film. And they just got walked over, and then they went and filed bankruptcy, and they went out of fucking business. Um, and that's going to happen to a lot of automakers. They are... The product is substantially better than what's currently in the market. The manufacturing is going to reduce the cost so that you have a product that's way, way better. Now it's actually going to cost way less to produce. They also came out, uh, Tesla has a patent for, um, I think, turning 72 individual pieces into one stamp. So you basically can stamp the whole entire frame of the vehicle and not have to individually have a machine weld those all together. So it's not just from a labor standpoint either. This is this is only the, their third factory that they're building and they're already doing this. And uh, the market is definitely not recognizing the value of this innovation or just they're not putting it together or something because this is going to be really tremendous over the next several years as this starts to play out, assuming that there's nothing crazy in terms of execution. But like, look what he's already done. I just don't see any issues uh, coming up at all with any of that. Anyways, I appreciate you guys paying attention. If you guys have any thoughts, let me know down below. I'm super curious to hear your thoughts on all this. If you have any other data, let me know links and everything down below. If you want to help out the channel, share this video with somebody else. Um, just quit my job and um, be uh, traveling across the country, essentially to, per like essentially permanently turn a, a big portion of my um, kind of fixed cost into a tax deduction, right? Because if I'm I'm only going to travel places I can make money, and if I'm just perpetually traveling to make money, uh, then a large portion of my costs are going to be shifted from a fixed cost at one point to a taxable cost over here, which is gives me essentially 20% more to invest. However, um, I quit about a month ago and uh, I've got about 15 months worth of savings before, I'm, before I uh, run out of money. So 
If you guys want to help out, share this video with somebody. Tell somebody else about what we're doing here and we're taking a look at the data. Or if you just have shit to buy on Amazon, there's a link in the description or you want to check out the other channel where I talk about some drugs and other interesting stuff um, that I, I find interesting. Um, you can check out the other link for the uh, other channel in the link in the description or jump over to TikTok. I've blown up over there over 2 million, 2 million views on um, TikTok and that mainly covers uh, the Tesla, all the different features and everything. So if you want to jump over to TikTok and learn more about um, the details and little subtle nuances of Tesla, um, I put I have well over 100 videos up there, probably over 200 videos on Tesla and they're very short consumable clips somewhere between five to five seconds to one minute in length so there's a tremendous amount of content over there around subtle little nuances of the manufacturings and just things that i've noticed about the model 3 since i've had it for these last two weeks appreciate you guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you soon